driver of the Azul shop has been a very long time, and I have a question for you today. Are you an introvert? Or are you an extrovert? The question is, do you have to be one of them? Actually, 68% of people all around the world don't belong to those categories. Actually, they belong to one that is kind of a mix between a you know introvert and extrovert, and they are called ambiverts. Are you one of them? He has some revealing signs and advantages of being an ambivert. Let's go. Yeah, this is number one in the top list. Um, ambiverts are naturally apathetic. Um, imagine that you have some troubles with your wife, uh, with your relationship, with your work and everything, and you're seeking some advice from your friends. Um, an introvert friend tends to be, you know, a, a good listener. They're going to listen to you really, really well, showing some compassion. Whereas uh, an extrovert friend tends to be quite, you know, enthusiastic. They're going to give you some solutions right away. Uh, however, ambiverts are somewhere in between. Uh, they're going to listen to you well. They're going to ask you some thoughtful questions, and finally. They're going to give you some, you know, viable solutions for your problems. This is number two in the list. Um, imagine that a friend is hosting, you know, a party by the pool at the weekend and invite all of you in. An extrovert might be, you know, impulsive. They're going to accept the invitation right away, They're coming to the party and losing themselves. Um, an introvert, you know, might be quite reserved. They're going to find some excuses uh, to stay at home and enjoy their solitude. But again, ambiverts are uh, a bit, they are going to be more, you know, well balanced. Uh, they're going to wait, consider the pros and cons before finally making the decisions of whether to go or not. Number three, ambiverts really know when to listen and when to talk. A very few studies conducted by the University of Pennsylvania in the USA has shown that uh, an ambivert makes a best salesperson. Interesting, huh? Uh, why? Because uh, an ambivert salesperson can offer you know a repertoire of responses, and they tend to be quite flexible to cater the needs of different types, you know, both introvert and extrovert customers. And I gotta say that the same thing applies to a friend, a spouse, or partner. It, this is the last one in my top list, and I gotta say that ambiverts are quite comfortable in a wide range of situations. Uh, you know, they can be really outgoing and talkative during happy times, you know, after work, hanging out with their colleagues, you know, after long working hours. Um, but at the same time, they can be quiet, they can be reflective during a long time at home to self-assess and have thoughts about things. But be mindful that extroversion, introversion, or even adversion, they don't last forever. Uh, things are going to change radically in the future. So keep in mind that just, you know, be yourself and enjoy your own self. Yay! So, uh, these are some of my thoughts about every version. Do you find yourself in this video? Okay, uh, I hope this video is uh, informative and useful to you guys. And if you want to see some more videos like this, just like and subscribe to our channels. Once again, my name is Tai, one of the teachers at the IELTS Workshop. See ya!